Hey, welcome back to another episode of Disrupting Asia. I'm Kian, your host here at Disrupting Asia and currently based in more or less rainy Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand. Disrupting Asia is a platform that helps to connect entrepreneurs in Asia. Our aim is to build communities around the continent and to become the number one source for reliable news and information around Asia startups. Every week we will feature talented entrepreneurs here in Asia who build and grow successful businesses here in Asia. We will also talk about essential skills, tools and systems that will make not only your business but also you personally more successful. Guys, in this week's episode we will talk about burnout. Burnout is a serious issue and I'm sure that the one or other of you can relate to that. And to be frank, it's pretty easy to get burned out. Especially as founders and CEOs, we take on a lot of pressure. We have tight deadlines to meet, demanding customers, staff and perhaps shareholders, lots of unfinished business and we are trying to wear as many hats as possible. We don't try to waste any minute of the day, order food from the drive through sleep 3-4 to four hours a day. Some of you may even sleep in the office and within a matter of weeks or just a couple of months we suddenly have problems to get up early, we are constantly tired throughout the day, unfocused and unmotivated to say the least. We are not resting enough and our mind still keeps working by the time we go to bed, eventually not paying attention to most things that matter during the day. If you feel that you are already at this stage or have several of the aforementioned signs, here are 5 tips for you that will prevent you from serious burnout. Number 1. Take on more breaks and move outside. Whether you will go for a quick run or just a stroll around the neighborhood, getting actually out of the office and breathing fresh air will make a huge difference. Do so for at least 30 minutes a day but 30 consecutive minutes. From my point of view it's even better to do so at least twice a day. Not only will you get to breathe fresh air but you will immediately feel much more energized and concentrated. Even if you were stuck at a certain task before, you will find a solution probably pretty quick by now. The best way to build a habit around walking outside is to schedule it. Depending on your schedule it may be beneficial if you schedule one walk in the morning or at noon and a second one in the evening or after work. Simply to refresh your mind after work and to feel relaxed before heading back home. Also, don't just leave it there. If you have a team, make sure that they will follow suit. Communicate the importance of health and be a role model. Give others the same chance to get out and breathe fresh air as well. Needless to say that this will increase the overall productivity of your company by far. Personally, I like to go out for a run at least once every two days and most weeks I run on average 5-6 to six days per week. I'm running around 7-10k. to 10K. If I have really not much time I will run a short but speedy 5 kilometers, which just takes about 25 minutes and I'm all energized again. Number 2. Stop drinking, at least for one or two months. Depending on your business and profession, you may meet lots of clients for business lunches and dinners. And yes, it's pretty easy to drink 2-3 to three glasses of wine or even more per night. But even small quantities will easily lead to restless nights, speaking your body takes more time to rejuvenate and you'll be feeling tired throughout the day due to serious lack of sleep. I'm not saying to avoid alcohol forever, but give it a shot for the next 4 weeks at least and see the difference it will have on your life. Number 3. Make sleep a priority. Yes, I totally get it. The day only has 24 hours and we will always try to make the best of it. We plan, schedule and work 12, 15, 18 or even more hours a day to get our setup off the ground. But in the long term a serious lack of sleep and rest will harm your body more than you could think of now. It took me often several hours to be fully awake. Plus I had serious overweight for 2 years. And by all means you have to get enough sleep. I made this mistake for many years and there are even today days where I'm guilty of that. But you seriously have to know when to stop working and just focus on yourself. Here are a few tips. Delegate more, don't micromanage. Prioritize task, what needs to be done and can't wait and what needs to be done but can wait. And put down your goddamn phone. Go earlier to bed. Start with just 15-20 to 20 minutes earlier and then add more time in 15 minute intervals. Personally I go for 6 hours a day and often add another 60-90 to 90 minutes of nap during the day. And no I don't apologize for sleeping and you shouldn't either. Number 4. Do more of what you love. Again, it's a crucial point that many people oversee. Schedule a few hours per month for things that you love. 
And this can be literally everything from swimming to playing golf and badminton to playing the piano or guitar to painting, meeting friends or going to the cinema. Consider this your way of meditation. The key is figuring out when you can do it and then stick to it. Make it a priority for this day and let people know that you won't be available for this specific time at this specific day. By doing so a few times per month you will again help your mind to re-energize, increase your concentration and motivation which then in turn will help you to stay on top of the game. Number 5. Stay connected to family and friends. When working on your startup or as a CEO most of us turn into workaholics. Understandable because we want our company to succeed. But also in busy times it's important to just take a break from what we're doing and visit our family, involve our spouses and hang around with our friends. Try not to talk about work but rather figure how everyone is doing, what happened the past few weeks and if there are any special events coming up in the future like birthdays or weddings. Go and have a barbecue together and s or simply have an afternoon with cake and coffee. Go to the cinema or invite some friends over to run with you or hang around somewhere or watch a football match. I'm not trying to tell you to find a work-life balance because running a company simply takes a lot of time. But it's important to surround yourself with those who know you for the longest time simply to let you be you. In summary, sleeping and resting more, eating healthy, exercising and putting your phone down more often will significantly increase your workflow and well-being. Make sure that you plan and schedule everything accordingly and delegate more tasks to your team. In addition, it's also important that your team is feeling well and able to always give 100%. Communicate the importance of resting and exercising enough and give everyone the chance to unwind and re-energize. As a team or a company, you have many ways to do so. For example, monthly team outings where you do anything but working. Or get someone to provide yoga and tai chi classes. Even Jack Ma offers tai chi lessons for his employees. Another perk would be offering a free 15 minutes massage once a week. You can have a small team of spa therapists coming to your office for example. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the podcast already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're on every major platform such as Stitcher, Anchor and iTunes. Also head over to www.disrupting.asia to stay in the loop as we publish epic content on a regular basis. www.disrupting.asia Thank you very much for listening and I see you on the next episode.